incredible camouflage of the natural world. Concealed coloration. This is when the body color of the animal matches that of its environment. The cryptic plumage on this cox owl makes it difficult to see against the bark of the tree with the patches of white lichen. This is also called background matching. Insects and spiders can also be well camouflaged. Many insects are also masters of camouflage. The praying mantis relies on its camouflage to catch insects that venture too close. This pale speckled moth flew down to the ground and landed on a very similar colored dead leaf on the ground. Stick insects or walking sticks are extremely difficult to see in green or brown foliage. Can you spot this one? It took me a while to first see it. Can you see the head, the legs? A brown stick insect on a matching brown twig. This Amakosa Roxeta butterfly blends in perfectly with a speckled lichen and the odd orange patches of lichen near it. Their camouflage is remarkable against the white lichen covered rocks. They may also be aposomatic because they release an acrid smell when handled. When disturbed, they raise their forewing to show the red patch on the underside. Another difficult creature to spot is the jumping spider that also lives on lichen-covered rocks. It is teeny and matches its background perfectly. A grasshopper resembling these loose, dry sticks fits in perfectly in this dry background. Crab spiders often sit on a flower center that matches its coloring. Yellow on yellow, white on white, pink and white on the same color flower. Sitting still on a flower paid off for this female crab spider. She caught a honeybee. Green forest camouflage. In the forests, the colorful Narina trogans have to rely on camouflage to not be detected. So they turn their backs to you, so you can't see their red underparts. On the left is a red front that would attract attention. And on the right side picture, it shows the green back, which blends in with the green background of the forest. The beautiful Nasna Tureko blends in with the background in its forest habitat. Dry arid land camouflage. In the dry arid areas, the birds coloring blends in with the drab vegetation on the open plain. Close up of the two Karoo Korans from the previous photo. Did you spot them? A Karoo Koran matching the drab background color. Foraging in the dry arid Karoo. Camouflage on the open grass plains of Africa. On the open grass felt of Africa, the lioness blends in perfectly with the long dry grass. 
Frey will battle to see her approaching until it's too late. Reptiles are brilliant at camouflage. Chameleons are well known for their camouflage. This one looks like a brown twig. Reptiles often match the color of their backgrounds perfectly, so predators don't see them easily. This sand lizard matches the desert sand that it lives on. The gamas blend in well with the rocks they sun themselves on. Green male boom slungs or tree snakes are very difficult to spot in a leafy green tree. Nesting birds and camouflage. Ground nesting birds have to lay eggs that blend in with the background, like these speckled lapwing eggs. Camouflaged crown lapwing eggs. This chinspot batis has camouflaged her nest by adding lichen to the outside of the nest. Another bird with excellent camouflage is a spotted creeper, very hard to see on a lichen-covered branch. The red-throated rhinek has cryptic camouflage that resembles the bark of a tree. A rhinek at its nesting hole in a tree trunk, very hard to spot from a distance or even close up. As you can see, prey avoid predators and predators sneak up on prey when they are very well camouflaged. 